With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Consider the experiment of throwing a die. If a multiple of 3 comes up, throw the die again and if any other numbers come, toss a coin. Find the conditional probability of the event the coin shows a tail given that at least one die shows a three. So, in question it is given that if a multiple of three comes up, throw the die again. Now, multiples of three are three and six when a die is thrown. And if three and six comes, then we have to again throw the die. Then the number of then the number will be in second throw the number comes on the die will be 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so pairs will be 3 comma 1 3 comma 2 3 comma 3 3 comma 4 3 comma 5 and 3 comma 6 similarly 6 comma 1 6 comma 2 6 comma 3 6 comma 4 6 comma 5 and 6 comma 6 so sample space will contain these elements and then it is given in the question that if any other number comes that is other numbers that means 1 2 4 5 if 1 2 4 and 5 will come on the die then toss a coin so if these numbers come on die then we have to toss a coin now when we toss a coin we get outcomes head or tail so pairs will be 1 comma head then 1 comma tail similarly 2 comma head then 2 comma tail then 4 comma head and 4 comma tail and last 5 comma head and 5 comma tail so these are elements in this sample space now total number of elements in sample space is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So, number of elements in sample space are 20. Now, let event E be that coin, coin source, so a tail. And let event A be that at least, at least one die source a 3 ok now e will contain elements now coin source a tail so pair which have tail are 1 comma t 2 comma t 4 comma t and 5 comma t so this will be the this elements will be in event e ok so number of elements in event e is Four. Now a fill contain elements. F is at least one die, so a three. So this will be three comma one, three comma two, three comma three, three comma four, three comma five, three comma six, and six comma three. So F will contain elements three comma one, three comma two, three comma three, three comma four, three comma five, three comma six, and six comma. 3. So, these are the elements in event F. A number of elements in event F is 7. Now, E intersection F will contain elements. Now, there are no common elements in set E and F. So, E intersection F is a empty set. That is, equal, it will be equal to 5. Now, probability of E intersection F will be Number of elements in E intersection F divided by number of elements in sample space. Now, since E intersection F is an empty set, the, uh, this means that number of elements in E intersection F is 0. So, this will be equal to 0 by 20 which is equal to 0. Okay. Now, probability of probability of F will be equal to 
number of elements in f divided by number of elements in sample space so this will be equal to 7 by 20 similarly probability of e will be equal to number of elements in e divided by number of elements in sample space which will be equal to 4 by 20 now we have to find conditional probability of that uh, of the event that the coin shows a head uh, sorry shows a tail given that at least one die shows a three that means probability of e given f now probability of e given f will be given as probability of e intersection f divided by probability of f which will be equal to 0 divided by 7 by 20 which is equal to 0 so answer is 0 for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today